Welcome back. There is a growing trend you may see popping up into your social media feeds. They are called buy nothing groups, all in an effort to connect neighbors on a hyper local scale. Now, the first buy nothing group began nearly a decade ago out on the West Coast. Since then, thousands have taken shape in cities and towns across this country. Neighbors will post in their local buy nothing Facebook groups about an item that they're looking to get rid of and others will come and take it off their hands. Tonight, reporter Jocelyn Person introduces us to the founder of a local Buy Nothing group who says this is much more than just about saving money. So my motivation for it was just to see if I could get neighbors connected in the suburbs the way that they were in the city, being able to um, help one another out in that way. And that's by establishing the Buy Nothing Project in Williamsville. The admin of Buy Nothing tells me she became inspired by seeing the city of Buffalo, along with the rest of the world, launching the Free Gift Initiative. So the Buy Nothing organization is an organization that um, is all over the world now. And the Buy Nothing, uh, you're not allowed to buy or sell anything. So it's a gift only economy. So that's a huge difference from going to a thrift store. Shira showed me the gifts her daughter received through the organization and its new and improved items. Rather than having to go out and buy her brand new things that she might only want for a few years, I was able to ask and find a really cool bookshelf that she loved. I was able to find her a mirror that she liked and um, a clothing rack where she could put um, shirts and sweaters. Shiva says the Buy Nothing Project not only helps people save money, but also helps save the planet. The Buy Nothing Group helps people save enormous amounts of money. It helps people get rid of things in their house that are just clutter for them. Um, and it helps the planet by reducing the amount of stuff that we have in landfills. Jocelyn Person, 7 News, Williamsville.